before we get started with today's video make sure you head over to xdgmods.com for the latest pet fit saves for gta online and save wizard tutorials yo what up youtube it's your boy x hope you guys are having a great day now today we got the ultimate banger for you guys and that is my dmo light modded cars online tutorial now this method is working for the new patch 1.57 better known as the tuners dlc update now the requirements for this glitch you will need a ps4 you also need a tv or video app installed on your ps4 save wizard for ps4 max not the online edition you'll need save editor if you're modding your cars the modded dmo light save obviously the internet but you must have a LAN cable for this method. And finally, you'll need a second console with a friend in Titan. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this might be the most inconsistent glitch I've ever done on GTA. I actually did this glitch 100 plus times with no success, and I literally gave up on it until the last update. Now, what I'm about to show y'all is the 1.57 workaround, which does not need net cut. Y'all heard right, no net cut is required for this glitch. The net cut method still works, but obviously no net cut is better. Now, one thing that I found which helps hit the glitch consistently is using a LAN cable and setting MTU to 615. Like it says in the title, I failed a hundred times using Wi-Fi, net cut, all that other BS. Tried this method once and hit it first shot, no cap bro. Alright guys, so this might be a pretty long tutorial. I want to help you guys hit this glitch as consistently as possible. I'm gonna take my time, go through the steps so you guys can bring y'all modded cars from GTA Save Editor. I'm gonna leave timestamps in the description and on the pinned comment so you guys can go ahead, jump to whatever part of the tutorial you want to anyway guys without further ado let's jump right into it all right guys first up we want to start in story mode and transfer a save from our console to the usb drive hit the psn home button go to settings application save data management save data in system storage and copy to usb storage Make sure your save file does not have backup next to it. We're going to select the original save file and hit copy. From here, let's take the flash drive over to the PC. On the PC, we have save wizard open. This is the file from the console. Let's quickly take a look at our modded car in GTA save editor. I'm actually going to sign in. You don't have to though. Hit open file. And this is our decrypted data right here. From here, go to garage. And our modded car is with Franklin. Uh, we got the euros. The DLC cars are all to the top. And you can go ahead and check my settings here. So we actually don't need to do anything with the file. You guys can go ahead and make adjustments if you like. Just going to close right here. Double click the save file on save wizard, right click and select advanced mode. Hit import file and select the data. Our hex changed, so let's go ahead and hit apply. And yes to confirm. All right, so our console is right where we left it. Make sure you plug in your flash drive. Let's go back, save data on USB storage device and copy to system storage. Select the save and hit copy then yes to overwrite from here let's go back save data in the system storage delete uh, this is an optional step i'm going to delete my auto save and uh, the profile save so what this will do is clear cache and load your modded save right away On the PS4 XMB, make sure you have your video app installed. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'll be using YouTube. Also make sure your console is connected to a LAN cable and we're going to go to our network settings and set the MTU to 615. So at this point, everything should be ready. Go ahead and start the game. 
confirm to clear your cache. Also at this point, make sure your friend is sitting in Titan of a job and they are in an invite only session. Uh, once you did everything right, you should spawn with Trevor in his trailer. Go ahead, hold down on the D-pad and select Franklin. As soon as you spawn with Franklin, you will receive a call from Lester. Just spam circle to decline the call. From here, you want to enter the one star wanted level cheat that'll pop up on screen right now. We're going to run right to the cops. We're going to hold our options button. And when Franklin puts his hands up, we want to release that options button. Go ahead. From here, we're going to hit online. I know some of you guys go to creator, but because we cleared cast, the creator is grayed out, but you can use choose character. So I'm going to hit X on choose character. And from here, we want to hit our PSN home button. Go to our TV app. Your app might be under featured or recent. YouTube is under recent. So we're going to highlight it and double tap back to this alert screen, double tap, make sure it's highlighted. Let's go back to the alert screen. From here, what we want to do is accept this alert, then quickly double tap and start our TV app. Then from there, we want to join our friend that's sitting in Titan and make sure your friend is in an invite only session. So we'll do all of that really quickly on three, one, two, three. Just spam X. Hit OK on this alert right here and then go back to GTA 5. And you should get the Rockstar Game Services are unavailable alert. From here, you wanna go ahead and quickly join your friend. You're gonna sit on this alert screen for five to 10 seconds. You're going to accept the alert the screen should fade to black then you should get to follow up alerts you want to accept those alerts after that second alert you want to quickly join your friend once again so from here we're going to hit x to continue the screen should fade out that's a good sign you want to accept this alert we're going to accept the following alert and then quickly join our friend once again on three one two three now you should get this alert right here you want to wait till it disappears and you should see loading gta online in the bottom right and there it is so you are gucci it should be 45 seconds to a minute You'll spawn as Trevor in the mountains. You want to look out for one more alert. Make sure you decline this alert. Pull up your interaction menu and go to director mode. In the trailer, enter director mode. You should spawn at the spot with Trevor, pull up your interaction menu and go to garage and just pull up the car you want to drop. Now the car will repeatedly disappear. So you want to keep the cursor on the car in the interaction menu and just respawn it each time it disappears. Now while you're doing this, you're waiting for your money to pop up in the top right corner. And there's our money so we go back go down and hover over quit director mode money disappears hit x and you want to keep your screen right on this alert from here i'm going to go ahead and switch to my second console who is receiving the car you want to hit the options menu and join your friend who's dropping the car The 
if everything goes well and the DMO gods are with you, you should spawn into the lobby and you'll see the car right there. Just go ahead, jump in. I like to take it over to the other side of the street right there. Yep, and that's it. Just gonna go ahead, get glitched out and get the car. Alright guys, that about wraps up today's video. The DMO Lite Modded Cars Online Tutorial 1.57. I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to drop a like if it helps. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Hey, Seven, seven, seven.